This is Eileen McMenamin from the Bipartisan Policy Center. We're coming to you live from Tulane University where we're holding our fourth annual political summit. Joining me is Secretary Dan Glickman, who is a BPC senior fellow. We appreciate all of your hard work on behalf of our bipartisan efforts. Uh, also a fellow, a former congressman from the great state of Kansas. Um, Dan, I know that money and politics is a really big deal to you. Um, what did we learn from this election where six billion dollars were spent and we basically end up with the same exact structure we had in the beginning? Well, a lot of people didn't get much return on their investment. We learned that, particularly these folks that put tens of millions of dollars into these super PACs and other related organizations, and the results weren't very good, especially on those on the conservative or right-wing side of the picture. You don't really know yet how it worked on the congressional side because it's, it's hard to measure whether if the money hadn't been in there, whether it would have impacted the results or not. And, and it inspired a lot of competitive super PAC money from the left and the right. And we're drowning in political money. Let's just be honest about it. But from the presidential point of view, I think that people realize that there are probably better places to put their money. And what do you think can be done? Will there be another uh, go at campaign finance reform, or are those days gone? It's really hard to get campaign finance reform through Congress. Uh, there are a lot of folks that think the more money, the better, because money is speech, and the more money gives more opportunity to, to get messages out to the public. Unfortunately, those messages aren't necessarily informative, and sometimes they're very destructive and, and negative messages. Uh, but we'll see. There may be ways to kind of get some changes into the system uh, without any major reform that would take a constitutional amendment. That will just be almost impossible. You know, above all, the public is, is very smart, and they can see through a lot of the money that goes into our political system, and they filter it out. And I think one of the things we may have seen from the last election is all these ads uh, fueled by huge amounts of money may just not have the impact that they right. used to have. That's right. good. Right. I think $300 million was spent by American Crossroads, and they and that's only just run one. A, and they only won a couple Senate races. And, 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 if, and the ads weren't even very good. That was the other thing, because there's no soul. There's no heart in those ads. Uh, and so they tend to be rather clinical, all, always almost very negative, and not very impactful. Now, talk a little bit about when you first ran for Congress. What was the cost of your first congressional race? Well, that was during the Civil War, and so it was hard to, <laughs> to do a lot of campaigning. 1996? You know, I guess you're not. My first campaign was 1976. Oh, 1976. 76, okay. Yes, you know. So I spent about $95,000 and defeated an incumbent Republican congressman. That race today would probably cost me $5 million to do the same kind of race. So I didn't have to spend all my life raising money, and neither did the incumbent. Right. He didn't spend much more money than I did. So what did I do? Five months, walk door to door, walk 50,000 homes. If I did that today, they would accuse me of malpractice. And so I actually got to talk to voters, and I got to say, what do you think? And I was in their home, and they'd bring me in, and, and I got a, it was a more personal experience. And I think I did a better job because of that, too. And uh, another uh, great public servant from Kansas is Senator Bob Dole, one of yes. our co-founders co at the Bipartisan Policy Center. Talk a little bit about your relationship with him, because I know you're from different parties, but you get along really well. Uh, you know, he is one of my heroes, to be honest with you. Uh, we often were a, uh, a political adversaries, but never enemies. Yeah. And we always worked together. He, Bob Dole used to tell me, he says, you have two ears and one mouth for a very simple reason. And so he was a great listener, and we worked together, particularly on farm and agriculture issues, but anything that affected the state of Kansas, we worked together. He and we had another great senator, Nancy Kassebaum, uh, and they were both of the same ilk, and there are very few Bob Doles and Nancy Kassebaums left anymore. That's right, that's right. And speaking of that, we've just endured two years of partisan campaigning, bickering, ads, as you mentioned. How do we transition from campaigning to governing? It's a very good question, because we have these monumental problems in terms of the debt, deficit, taxes, education, immigration, foreign policy, defense policy, energy. I mean, these massive problems affecting Americans. And I think 80 percent of the American people want to, for a while at least, junk politics, at least election politics, and move on to getting the problems solved. And, you know, we just hope that that message gets through. It requires leadership. Leadership is the powerful factor to determine whether the government can function well requires effective presidential leadership. The president must engage. I just saw the movie Lincoln. Those of people who will see it will see an Abraham Lincoln who did nothing but work the Congress for four months to pass the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, the amendment ending slavery. If he hadn't been there working the Congress, it wouldn't have happened. But it also requires effective congressional leadership as well. 
All right, thank you very much, and thanks for being part of trying to urge that bipartisan spirit on at the Bipartisan that's, Policy that's Center. That's what we're going to keep doing every day of our lives. Thank you. Okay. Secretary Glickman, and thank you for watching Bipartisan Debrief.